What's going on guys? Spencer here with HM Massage. Back with another massage technique video. This time we're going over a chair massage. Now I uploaded this a couple days ago with music and there were a lot of people asking for no music, just the ambient sound. So this video I left the ambience in the background and I'm only going to jump in and talk for a few minutes throughout the video on certain techniques. So there will be a lot of this video with just the raw audio, but there were a few clips that I had to take out. Not only due to talking, but due to copyright music. So anyway, let's get into the techniques. So I've done a lot of compressions with my knuckles up and down the sides of his spine. And now I'm doing some petrissage, a lifting squeezing on his neck and upper traps. When it comes to chair massage, you're doing a lot of compression, petrissage, vibration, and topotment. Obviously they're clothed, and so there's a lot that you can't do as opposed to a normal massage. But for this reason, chair massage is also very effective because you can get a lot done in only a short period of time. It's very good for advertising, whether you're in a public place, and it opens up a wider spectrum of potential clients because there's a lot of people who don't feel comfortable getting undressed, and this way they don't have to disrobe and they can still reap the benefits of massage. So warming up, I'm just doing a lot of compression and petrissage around his erector spinae muscles, both sides of the back, the upper traps and the neck, until we get down to the lower back. At the lower back, I'm using my palms to really spread the fascia, the thoracolumbar fascia down here, digging in a little deeper with my knuckles. And here I'm only using my thumbs for a short period of time, really targeting his erector muscles and the QL. Right there is right at the lower rib attachment of the lower back muscles. And then I'm switching to either side and doing some deep kneading and compression on the hips. Even with a little bit of time, you can still throw in a few good moves for the hips and legs. And working back up to the top, check out my posture here, guys. Back straight, knees are bent, head and neck are mostly straight, looking slightly downward. But remember, our posture is important too. And we're going on to work the delts and more of the rotator cuff muscles. These are the teres, the lats, the infraspinatus, the rear delt really getting in some good vibration there, loosening it all up and squeezing the lats and pulling them back. Everybody has two sides to their bodies, so of course you have to balance out and whatever you do to one side, go ahead and do to the other.
now we've switched to more neck focus work as we went broad to specific really getting in some good kneading circles at the upper traps the levator attachment the suboccipitals all of the neck muscles here you do this to anyone for even a minute it is going to feel absolutely amazing a good transition move we're compressing his shoulders down kneading it opening up the muscles the fascia all the connective tissue notice I'm just leaning my whole body weight into this pressure I'm not necessarily pressing with my shoulders and we're gonna work down compress our way to the arm and just get some good forearm deltoid bicep and tricep work This move is a pin and stretch, mostly for his upper traps and upper shoulder muscles. I'm bringing his shoulder girdle up, compressing right at the base of his neck, and then pulling the whole arm and shoulder down. This is not a really deep pin and stretch, but more just a broad pin and stretch. And of course, going to do the same routine over on the other side, supporting his entire arm with my hands and rolling the biceps back and forth, and then going to work down to the arms, doing the same pin and stretch as before. We're going to be coming to a close, so I'm finishing off with some light swipes all the way down, wiping away all the tension, any bad energy, wipe it all away, 
and we finish every single massage with a head massage. So that is what we're going to come up and do. Once they're relaxed with that head massage, a few more compressions, a few more squeezing movements, all to finish it off. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did, and subscribe to the channel for new content every single week. I'll see you guys on the next video. Hope you have a great day, and I hope you are all relaxed.